Oh, and welcome to some more Tesla news. Tons of news on the Tesla Models S, the Model 3, the Model X, Tesla Semi, and some boring news. Let's get started. Model S. Uh, the bad news is they no longer sell the software limited 60. The good news is they now sell a 75 that's pretty much the same price. It's only uh, 1500 bucks more. So for uh, $69,500, you can get a Model S. It used to be $74,500, so they dropped the price quite a bit. Um, makes it a little bit more affordable to get a higher range Tesla. Uh, so, and, 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 and also, they lowered the price of the upgrade. If you had a software limited one, for only two grand, you can upgrade to a 75. So that's pretty cool makes things a little bit different. They also raised the price of the 90 or the 100D, um, the higher end options and changed things around a little bit. Model 3 news, lots of good news. There's sightings everywhere. You can see all these pictures people are snapping even across the country in Cincinnati. Uh, they got blue, white, um, all kinds of release candidates on the road right now. So that means it's, it's getting ready. There's even some pictures of a massive shipment of robots being delivered to Fremont. In fact, there are 467 robots and they're hanging from the ceiling and the floor and the assembly line and they're going to be installed and done by mid-June is what they're talking about. So it's just in time to get the production line rolling to unveil and show off these Tesla Model 3s to people in July. Unless you're a Tesla referral winner or yeah, <laughs> and you got invited to go on the factory tour with uh, Franz, uh, the Tesla designer, and apparently you get to see a Tesla Model 3 release candidate up close. They're going to show it to these people. That's cool. Uh, speaking of referral codes, I don't mention them every time, but I do have a code. If you're planning on buying a new Tesla Model S or X, you can save a thousand bucks with my code below. Um, just putting that out there. I get entered into a contest to win stuff and you get a thousand bucks off your Tesla, so it's a win-win. <laughs> uh, I, I have to show it off. I, I got a jacket from the referral program. It looks pretty cool. There's a picture of my son wearing it. The Tesla Model X news. There is some pictures around of an extraction demo where they're like taking it apart and it's kind of crazy. And I, I'm sad. They shouldn't have to ruin a Tesla Model X. There's also a video, a couple videos going around on how to open the doors in the event of um, like a power outage or a wreck, you take off the speaker grill and you pull this little tab and the, the doors op open up. So that's something good to know if you are a Tesla Model X owner or ever plan on riding in one and are unfortunate enough to get in an accident. Uh, I did a live video about this uh, about a week ago when I was on one of my little Tesla trips. Uh, Tesla is doubling their supercharger capacity this year around the world. And in the U.S., they're actually increasing by 150%. They're planning on taking it from 5,000 chargers to 10,000 chargers worldwide. And in California alone, they're looking at adding 1,000 chargers because that's where the highest population density of Tesla owners are. Probably because there's the highest population of people too. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it's really exciting to see that Tesla's kind of really going to ramp up they're adding a lot of stalls to the existing ones and they even showed this concept of having like dozens of superchargers in like a block with a store and uh, solar canopies and it looks really cool i can't wait until they get some of these things built uh, autopilot news autopilot's chugging along they're slowly bringing autopilot 2.0 up to parity with one they enabled auto braking just a day after consumer reports dropped the safety rating on the tesla's for their lack of it. So it was their top in the class for safety until they weren't able to produce the working uh, auto braking that was advertised with. So they lowered it. So Tesla released their update. And uh, unfortunately the update only works auto braking up to 28 miles an hour. So uh, Consumer Reports said, well, we're not gonna up your rating until you get it at full speed. It's in Tesla's bar park, ballpark now to up it. Uh, I remember when I had an S and they were just turning on the feature, they enabled it in increments like every couple of weeks, like all the other autopilot features. And so it's just a matter of time. I don't think it'll take too long, but better safe than sorry on the safety features, right? 
Elon stated that in two years it will be the point where autopilot should be ready for sleeping in the car while it's driving. And then by the end of this year, they're going to demo the coast to coast, uh, New York to LA or LA to New York without touching the wheel. I, I don't know if that's auto, uh, if that's closer to th level three autonomy or four autonomy. Level five is like, you know, the car will go by itself and go pick you up, which, you know, there's a long ways to go regulatory and, you know, even the software, they don't, they're not quite there yet. It'll be interesting to see how that, that, that comes along. Let, let me know what you guys think about autopilot. Is it taking too long to develop or are they just, you know, playing it safe? I'm kind of somewhere in the middle. I really want, I really miss the local roads in Wyoming being able to go, you know, 70 miles an hour on a two lane highway. Oh, I'll do my review of the X soon and I'll show you guys a little bit more. Uh, hopefully now that the weather's good and I'm not sick. Uh, sorry I was out for a while. I lost my voice pretty much. <laughs> All right, on to the boring news and more boring news. <laughs> Elon is showing off the little boring machine that he got in to tunnel under SpaceX and a cool little video showing the concept of what the whole boring company is about, where they'd be doing these tunnels like 30 layers deep, where you drive your car onto a platform that would lower like a little cart and it would lower in, and then it would take off and carry your car at 124 miles an hour to its destination and it would automatically merge and everything would be automated underground and then it would pop back up and take off again. Another cool thing that was in this video is you can see the micro bus like that that's a, it's all glass and people are inside of it and it's kind of neat it's Tesla's vision of the future it's like all Tesla's of course all these tunnels underground. Tesla semi last but not least he said I think it's September or definitely in the fall they're going to unveil the Tesla semi he says it's like driving a sports car. It's very fast and it'll be able to do long hauls. So those are going to be half, those are going to have to be some massive batteries. Uh, let me think, let me know what you think of all these stories. Um, and if I should keep doing these news videos, cause there's a lot of other people doing news videos all of a sudden, like there's like four or five other people that I know of. And my, my show was originally supposed to be like showing you what it's like to have a trip in a Tesla. And I'll continue to do that. And when I do that, I'll probably do more of the live shows and the question and answer because you guys keep me company and i appreciate it thank you for subscribing um, any suggestions are welcome we'll see you guys next time